On Saturday, May 3rd through Sunday, May 4th, the 16th annual Needham Open Studios was held in studios, stores, and homes all across town. Our own Derek Reisner visited a few of these places and would like to take you along as well. Hello! Welcome to Needham Open Studios 2014. Today, there are over 40 different artists in a dozen locations all across town presenting their artwork to the public. So I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek at a few of those locations. We're going to start off right now at 32 Mellon Street. So let's go inside and take a look. 32 Mellon Street is the home of Ariel Shoemaker, a mosaic artist who has been hosting seven artists for Needham Open Studios for the past five years. Some of us um, planned a Needham Open Studios party five years ago and we just found that we liked each other and we appreciated each other's artwork. Um, I think we have a nice balance here also. It's a really great group of all different types of artists. We all engage in different media. Uh, and it's a really fun opportunity to see product that artists have made over the last year and also get a chance to talk to them about their process and possibly commission um, a unique piece from them. Next stop on our tour, we're here at Gorse Mills Studio. On May 1st, 2009, Gorse Mills Studios had its grand opening. Five years later, it is now home to over 50 artists, including Cheryl Scipioni of Arte Mozafiato. I am the proprietor here with my daughter and my friend Lil. We own the studio, it's Arte Mozafiato. We offer stained glass classes, fusing classes, and jewelry making classes. I started working with glass in 95, and I worked with just stained glass for a while. And a few years ago, um, Lil and I went out to get some glass and we were introduced to jewelry making and fusing and since then you know we set everything up in our garage and we have outgrown the garage and now we're here at the studio and we're outgrowing this. Our final stop is Perennial Designs hosting Dottie Laughlin and Deborah Balin. What I've brought with me today as an oil painter are various oil paintings like the one right behind me of things that I have done. Um, I, these are both paintings of things done from sketches that I've done, plein air painting, which is outside, or from photographs that I've taken. As you can see, my, my favorites are things that are outside and in the garden. I do jewelry. Um, I also do crafts like uh, Sanibel shell frames, baby quilts. I do the crafting because it's fun. Uh, and the jewelry because it's fun. And I also find that it's a good way to raise funds for charities. So for me, it's an opportunity to sort of give back to the community and to people who are in need. For more information on these artists in Needham Open Studios, you can visit www.needhamopenstudios.com. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Derek Reisner.